start of part two. Gave it a short rest. Just drank something, some water, and I actually put my power bank in my pant pocket and connected the cable to the camera so it should be charging at the moment By the way, the area where I stopped was Aikenstein. I will try to find something, a link for you to the website or maybe an informative page on Wikipedia which tells you all about Aikenstein. don't know too much about it except that it was owned by a landlord but like I said check the description box for Aikenstein Let's have a look what this sign is indicating. Let's go a short distance this way. Somebody is cutting down a tree, which of course you can hear. Looks like this is a new roundabout in the road. This looks like the bike lane, so let's go here. Let's try to cross the road and go over the roundabout. Oh, that's nice that they made a bike lane on it. At least you can go in a safe manner across the road. Well, that was the roundabout between Appingedam and Groningen. There is a road, 80 kilometer an hour road. We call it Provinciale Weg or Rijksweg. N360 and in total there were nine of uh, six roundabouts and I'm planning on or they are we're planning on building nine and now this one has completed another one I'm coming up onto on this bike tour with the number eight And there's another one that still has to be built. Well, I was surprised that I could go there with my bike. At least 
go over there and take a full roundabout to get back to where I have to go. Like I said, at the moment you're watching part two of several parts of my bike tour. I do have a little bit of headwind at the moment and there's some sunshine. Still cloudy, but not, the clouds are not as dark as they were um, 10 minutes or 15 minutes ago. take a ride to the area of Widnam, not going there but just to the ring road or the road. I'm doing it wrong again. I should go this way. To get over there I have to go under the road. That's the safest option and that's why they created it like this. So that's uh, fast. When I would go straight, I would end up in the city of Widdham. I'm not going to do that. My goal is to go somewhere else, so. But I just wanted to show what the options were and what not. Well, with the car you're supposed to go straight, but with the bike you're supposed to take a turn and go underneath the, the road. Which of course is the safest way to cross this busy road. Well, before I went here and back now, I came from where the car is now trying to go, or not. I came from the, from the left here. Now I'm going to take this small bridge and go to the other side of the water. Go this way.
thinking to myself, I'm not sure at what time I started part two. But let's say it was 1725 or so. Trying to get get the parts a little bit even. Well, I'm sure you uh, already saw my video but for this series this bike tour series like I said this is part two part one but before part one for the start from up and to Groningen I had a visit at the island of Borkum See link in that to that video, by the way. Borkum is a German island in front of the coast, German coast, of course, but it's very easy to reach with a ship, a car ferry. from Eemshaven and Eemshaven is actually in the well most almost no most northern part of Holland and in Groningen they have a regular ferry connection a ship is transporting cars and people also Borkum is reachable through Germany and then the ship will sail from Emden to Borkum. And from Eemshaven to Borkum it's about 15, 15 minutes, 5 zero. And then you, as you have seen, when you arrive at Borkum Harbor, you have to get onto a small train which transports you seven kilometers over the island to the actual city of Borkum. Well, you see me on my bike there. I rented a bike with We saw something from the island, something of the beach. We actually went into the water, not with the whole body but till the ankles or something about 20 or 30 centimeters deep I had my swimming gear with me but it was a little bit cumbersome to change clothes and when you get in the water it will be sandy and wet you have to wipe it off with a towel a little bit too cumbersome. We have very nice weather as you could see in the bottom video, like I said, see link. Link in the description box. video from Borkum by the way. I was not alone there, maybe you've seen it, I don't know, but there is some music in there, probably some speech, but also maybe some silence and whatnot, so I have to re-edit it. It's quite a lot of short video I have to look at and see what I can make of it. I'm also not sure how long that one is going to be, but 
you will already know because you saw it. Sounds like an ambulance in the distance. Again, the sun is uh, shielded by clouds. It's nice weather to drive, I can tell you. When I went from Groningen to Apergram, I had a longer bike trip, but also a little bit warmer. And at the island of Borkum, it was <laughs> 32 or so degrees. A little bit of wind, but still warm. Well, we just entered Winneweer. It's a dead end for cars, but it looks like it's for bikes available. This is really new for me. It looks at the map quite okay, but. I'm not sure where, I'm not totally sure where I'm gonna end up and what not. Well, I can always turn around when things don't work out. Like I said, when the things don't work out, I always have the option to turn around. Very easy. Looks like some bike lane made of seashells or something, or some grit. Like I said, I'm able to go here, so let's do it. Ah, I know where I am at the moment. I'm parallel to the ring road, or the Rijksweg, I mean, the M360. It is to my left. In front of me, the dumpster deep. Well, this area where I came from This here, the dumpster deep Maybe you can see that sign in the distance 
on the other side of the water. That's the start of the bike lane I normally can take, which when I would not have go there, gone here, I would have stayed on that side. I would have ended up uh, over there, where you can maybe can see the windmill in the distance. Well, my bike setup, my black normal bike bag and the blue one, a little bit ex more expensive. And that's why I have to go. Just wanted to show you this part. Like I said, there is the car bridge, car road, the road, the bridge. Nice area, I have to say.